Hi, brother teacher here. Do snails and slugs carry parasites and or diseases? It's the question of the day. One of my followers wants me to share this information and he asked me to do so. And he's from the United Kingdom. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to speak uh, not so much specifically about the types uh, or the varieties of snails and slugs because that would be a whole nother video and it would take probably uh, half an hour to an hour to discuss that so I'm just going to give you enough information so that you can do some research on your own and come up with a conclusion for yourself that suits you that you are content with first of all uh, let me answer this question are snails and slugs the same no they're not snails and slugs are related and they're similar but they're not the same not exactly they both secrete a slime to enable them to transport themselves snails have shells slugs do not have an external shell a snail's shell contains all of its organs internally and what you see protruding from the snail is its head and what can be considered or referred to as a foot that helps push it along on the outside of the shell and the snail is indeed attached to the shell it cannot leave the shell like a hermit crab can so it's attached to the shell and all of its internal organs are up in the top of the shell now a slug it's Internal organs are encased within a shell within its flesh so that's where its internal organs are located now so now that we fundamentally know the difference between a snail and a slug do they carry parasites and diseases they do and they can it depends on what variety and where you find them on planet earth they're virtually everywhere their soil so uh, they can carry E. coli salmonella and meningitis they can cause these conditions in human beings which could harm us and then potentially kill us so you have to be very careful uh, when you're dealing with these living organisms now I know it's curious or curiosity makes you want to put, pick one up especially if you're a child you see it oozing right along or sitting on the side of the shore somewhere by a lake or a stream or what have you but everything that's cute and bizarre looking to you doesn't necessarily mean it's good for you so beware when you come across snails because you probably are not a zoologist or someone who knows about insects bugs or animals just in general in nature if you're not certain or sure of what you're touching or embarking on then just leave it alone it's real simple just leave it alone okay and continue on you can take a picture of it and go about your business so there are some people who eat snails or escargot but research has been done on the edible types of snails and we should leave that to the experts so make sure that you know the source from whence your escargot is coming before you even consider eating any snails i would not advise anyone you know out and about camping or just going fishing or anywhere you might see a snail just to pick it up and drop it in your mouth swallow it chew it up or what have you because you don't know what variety it is because they do carry parasites not all of them I have heard of some remote instances where there have been some children and even some adults that have on a dare picked up a snail or a slug and threw it in their mouth and swallowed it and they died because it had a disease so don't be stupid don't be a fool 
and when someone asks you to do something that you know that might be potentially dangerous even if you don't think it's dangerous but if it's questionable just be called a square just be called uh, whatever you know uh, you're afraid of cat or what have you it's okay to be that in this particular instance it would have saved those individuals lives that had they not done it so again these uh, people on a dare through a slug or a snail in their mouths and they swallowed it and they died so as I said it depends on the variety of it and where you are here on planet earth what country Africa has some very poisonous snails there are some other places that have some poisonous snails or very uh, parasitic type of carrying snails they carry worms a lot of them and then once they are inside the human body we become the host and these worms begin to multiply inside of our bodies and get into our bloodstream and they feed off of us and they can cause all types of organ damage inside of our bodies once in here okay because it's an ideal environment for them so uh, in the UK I am told that uh, parasitic snails are very very common or parasitic carrying snails are very very common and they asked me to do this video so I just wanted to touch bases on this subject if there's anybody out there uh, that runs into snails leave them alone unless you get them from a trusted place a pet store that you are familiar with and never be afraid to ask questions to people never do this never be afraid always question and challenge everything that someone tells you now there are some people that still will purchase snails uh, for food if you do that make sure that you boil the snails for at least five minutes to kill any possible parasites boil them over boil them if you just have to have snails or you can bake them to kill the parasites if you feel like you just have to have snails if it were me I will leave the slimy things alone that's it and that's all this is brother teacher I'm out